Thank you. trying to play the guitar. Popular music in England was something very different from what it is today. Now, back in 1950, does anyone remember 1950? Back in those days, we didn't have any Duran Duran, or a Flock of Seagulls, or Depeche Mode, or Tears for Fears, or Culture Club. We didn't have any of that stuff. Back in those days, it was Doris Day! Patty Page and Joe Stafford! Frankie Lane and Johnny Ray! And even Rosemary Clooney! So, as you can imagine, the strange little minority bunch that I was part of we couldn't find anywhere to play. We would certainly never be invited to play in a posh place like this. And certainly, television cameras would never be aimed at us unless we were being arrested at that particular moment. That am for sure. So, the only place we could play was literally out on the streets, you know, the kind of thing, walking up and down the theater line with an acoustic guitar in your hand. You leave an old hat or similar receptacle on the sidewalk for people to toss small change into if they liked you. Clickety, clickety, click. But all of this playing of guitars in the streets and begging for money was considered very much an affront to public decency. It was an act of vagrancy for which you could be arrested. One fatal night, a large hand-like fist descended on my shoulder. It was indeed a police officer. I was taken off struggling and screaming, me, an innocent 17-year-old youth. Next morning, in the Marlborough Street Magistrate's Court, this police officer who had arrested me gave his evidence. Have you noticed the face of authority is the same the world over? I was proceeding in a southerly direction, my lord. When all of a sudden I hear the sound of this boogie woogie music. <laughs> On further investigation, I saw the defendant standing there with a the guitar in his hand. I have to be careful what I say. I have to be careful what I say at this particular point. It starts getting very blue normally, but as we have cameras trained on us, we have to be careful. So I arrested him with his guitar in his hand and a hat full of pennies. Well, I decided this constitution a breach of the peace, so uh, I nicked him, didn't I? And just one moment, officer, said the magistrate. It was indeed he, his lordship, not my famous impersonation of Prince Charles. Although the two voices do sound a lot alike, have you noticed? Get out of it! Have you noticed how the aristocratic type people in England all have the same voice? 
It happens because all of them have no chins, you see. So the owls they don't talk like that. Now, uh, what is this uh, Borgia Wolgia music you were talking about? Uh, well, we run out, said the policeman, getting out his notebook. Lots of pages in this notebook you'll see. Oh, yes, page 1198. It says here, Boogie Woogie, a form of jazz rhythm music first invented by Rod Stewart. Oh, it's there? It's there in my diary, Your Honor. Hey, officer! Will you get on with your evidence? Otherwise, I'll have to have you up for contempt of court. Uh, sorry about that, Your Honor. Now, what was the friend doing playing this riotous Rod Stewart music, may I ask? Huh? Well, the policeman just could not answer that question. Neither could I. Neither could Papa John King. Neither could George Ford. Neither could Dr. David Norris Ely with a hyphen. Neither could Joey Grail without a hyphen. Neither could Kelly McDonald. And neither could get back in the box Dave Hatchet on the drums. But I'll always remember that policeman and his boogie woogie. So don't try to lay no boogie. Woody on the king of rock and roll. Shack. 